Hello and welcome to another helpful video of our YouTube channel Become a Master of CAD Design. In today's video, we discuss the important aspects of creating complete casting model. A casting model is not complete without well-planned ejector pane and as a die casting die designer, it's our responsibility to suggest the best location for ejector pane. Additionally, we explore how to add traceability marking such as calendar code, shift code, part number and supplier code or logo. Join me as we go through the key consideration before deciding on engravings and ejector pin positions. Let's explore the details of this process together. We already created the casting model in our previous video. Going to create the ejector pin and uh, date shape code or calendar mark. The ejector pin area, we take a minimum 4% of our casting projected area. We provide the ejector pin where we think uh, there should be catching. For example, this uh, profile is up in the casting, so it will create catching in die. Where there is less draft, it will also create a catching. So we try to provide the ejector pin near this area. Ejector pin position should be balance across the casting so it will exact the part from our die without creating a band in our casting when we provide exactor pin in our casting part it will create a mark for example it can be up or it can be down we can create exactor pin on profile area or on a flat area when we provide profile exactor pin on casting the casting profile will cut on exactor pin top face and the exactor pin color need trans cut so we can prevent the ejector pin to rotate. To easy the die maintenance, sometimes we use ejector pin boss. So we can use the flat ejector pin. We cannot provide ejector pin mark on a class area or appearance area. We try to use the machining phase as much as possible for ejector pin mark because it will remove after machining. When we provide ejector pin on as cast area, we will provide the ejector pin mark on deep. When we provide ejector pin on machining area, we try to keep the ejector pin mark up. Sometimes ejector pin position defined by the customer. Sometimes we propose the ejector pin position to customer in RFQ stage. When we provide boss for ejector pin, it will add the casting weight and the casting cost. So we need to inform the updated weight as per boss to the customer for uh, RFQ. For this casting, we are going to provide the ejector pin boss. So it will easy for die maintenance. So now I am going to create uh, the sketch for ejector pin layout. So we already create a reference uh, curve for PCD for ejector pin boss. Now I am planning to provide ejector pin of dia 8. So we create a boss size 9. Now we are going to create a reference line. So we can provide a angle to define the position. For example, here we are going to provide an angle of 30 degree from center to this 30 degree. Now we are going to create a sketch for our ear code. So we are going to use dia bar. So we use dia 13 for boss size and the ejector pin boss size dia 9. So we need to see there is no weak section formed in die so that this rib is cut in die so we need at least 5 mm material between the ear code through hole and uh, this rib cut out so ejector pin also create a through hole in die so we need to also check the material for uh, ejector pin also we are going to reduce this PCD so it will adjust at a center now we are going to define the center of our ear code so it will be fully defined similarly we are going to define the ejector pin boss position now we are going to mirror this ejector pin hole next we are going to mirror both ejector pin next we also need 
a shift code and executor pin at opposite side to balance that we are you going to use pattern curve press it ok now we are going to finish this sketch and uh, going to extrude this now we are going to change the start limit to leave 12 so we can hide the gap to provide the radius we are need to offset this so we the gap will be more because this dia is big so we need more gap to provide radius now go to draft and apply the 10 degree draft in every executor boss or year code or shift code boss select one by one press it ok now go to unite and unite the casting model with our ejector pin boss or shift code boss model now provide the ground radius we provide the radius of 1 you can change this to 3 or 2 or keep it 1 as well on top we are going to provide 0.5 radius because we take the diameter 1 mm uh, more so 0.5 radius then the size of ejector pin and uh, the ear code on shift code will be exactly the same after flat area flat area will be achieved now we are going to use whole command to show the ejector pin mark which is in deep because this is as cast area so we are going to use flat ejector pin in the case so, so we keep the depth 0.3 or dia 8 ejector pin okay we can also use the uh, uh, profile ejector pin in that case but uh, that may be uh, maintain die maintenance need to be hard now we choose to be add uh, boss now change the color you can see you can see we already created a, a part for shift code and year code first we create a sketch text and extrude then similarly we created the year code and uh, so now for time saving we already created this now we are going to assemble this on our boss for example this is our casting part and go to assembly add shift code okay so when we first add component it or add a fix command but we are going to delete this we manually place on boss so we need the circle so right click and reference it and entire part so we can see the circle we use this circle to constant the shift code part with the boss for example here we use the constant and place it on the boss we can see here the degree of freedom is partially full uh, constant so uh, you can see uh, there is uh, one constant uh, needed uh, that uh, shift code can be rotated so we need to define some angle to fully constant this so we are going to provide the angle select this and this plane and provide the angle zero so now this uh, shift code is fully constant you can see the dark circle which indicate fully constant now we are going to add uh, ear code similarly at first it is uh, fully white so it mean it is not defined now we are going to use the shift code select the ear now we are using year code 22 you can change according to the current year 
fully constant assemble the const angle define the angle so you can control the orientation of this for example here we use uh, 180 or oh, 0 degree okay now we are going to link this uh, part in casting model okay so all bodies are linked you can see keep it associative and press it ok now hide this part from assembly save this part and now unite these bodies associate bodies with casting part so by using this method you can easily uh, we see there is constant fail now we use again define the part by using this method you can easily use the, the error code now we are going to define the text engraving text for example first we choose to define the part number we use text command planar text on uh, on face and define the curve for placement uh, we choose the center to define the placement now we can also define the offset from the curve and the size of the text in this case we choose 3.5 and uh, the text we write is 8987 Six five four. This is only for example. Now change. You can also change the font and press it. Okay. You can see the text. Is, now we are going to extrude this. The draw direction must be in the direction of ejection. This is important. Now the extrude value is point five. The text height, which is also. Now we are going to provide a draft. Okay, we select the face and the direction for draft. For example, you can see here we need to hide to select the face easily. Now select the face one by one and okay and the direction press it okay now provide the radius of point 1 the width of the text uh, should be point 4 point 5 between so the text will fill properly or chip off will not come in casting we provide the radius always so the part do not chip off you can see here the 4 and the 5 is so close so we are going to offset this by using move face and uh, we this is at angle so we use uh, angle to move this uh, 5 because uh, when we use uh, uh, electrode electrode will uh, uh, electrode in electrode text are engraving upside rise on electrode so we need to pass the cutter to manufacture the electrode so we need at least 0.4 to 0.5 gap between this now similarly we are going to create a die number for die number we use D1 and uh, the cavity number we symbol it C1 yani D1 C1 this uh, uh, can be changed according to customer or you can propose this this is up we done after customer approval now for example in our case the customer logo is 3D so we are going to little bit uh, increase the scale ratio now extrude the direction 
similarly exact exact same direction and keep that point five. Now add a draft on it. Draft always define the draft proper draft in text so it will not chip off draft is necessary when there is text height is less we need more draft for example in that case 0.5 we provide the 10 degree draft minimum okay you can see this text is also closed so we need to move this so it can possible to manufacture in electrode we need to pass the cutter between this if this will too close the cutter will not pass from here so it will not feasible to create electrode for this in some cases we directly use uh, the cnc to cut the engraving in that case we can use closer text but when we are going to use uh, electrode we need to use point four in this model we are using ear code and shift code but uh, in some case we can also add uh, v code uh, it is uh, according to customer or uh, place uh, in part sometime we only provide the die number sometime we only provide die number or uh, cavity number so it's upon the customer approval we create a traceability marking ppt in rfq in which we provide the detail of all engraving related now we are going to draft analysis this to check the draft is applied everywhere or not go to analysis select all surfaces and define the direction now we can check here you can see the text is uh, draft applied in every text here we can see the green face it means uh, there is no draft in that face other than that everything is okay now we are going to check this draft okay the draft is not applied in this verse so we select the faces and uh, now it will update the model now we are going to check the draft again so we can confirm go to analysis you can see this time every face is red it means draft is applied everywhere thank you for watching this tutorial if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorial like this see you in next video